<sighs> we have had really great weather these last days, so I've been able to paint the house. You might be able to see it's somewhat brighter there than the rest. And now I have a scaffold here. Thanks to the good weather, it was a little bit... Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's so sturdy. It's actually holding itself up where it shouldn't. Okay, so this thing, maybe I should do something about, but probably not. Uh, so yeah, uh, like the, the house here was, when, I, when it was delivered, it wasn't really well painted. So uh, I, that's why I'm painting it one more time. I don't really care so much about the color. And uh, all this material is from a dead guy who, uh, his sister tried to clear out everything and, uh, uh, yeah. So I helped her out do that and now I got this shit. <clears throat> so today I'm just going to try to paint this part here, not even put the ladder and paint the top here. I'm just going to paint whatever I can reach up until here and then further down here and I'll deal with that later. It's just uh, I, I, while the weather is holding up. So how did I build this? Well, I think the obvious one is that I used uh, the wall here to make the beams to hold it up. And instead of two pillars, which I usually would have done, uh, due to this terrain here, and because I still have a lot of work to do down here, uh, I, I've settled for just two. And then I used the, uh, you see that the, the board's going down there? So there are two screws on each one of them to kind of prevent them from jiggling. And it's on the other side as well. Here, I, I have so much redundancy that at this point I actually just settle for one. But you still see I still have two there. And uh, while not strictly necessary this part for this part, it is necessary to keep those two, only two pillars that I have here. And they are more than enough, I can assure you, and I will show you really soon. But apart from that, I just use boards up here, boards up there, and you can see I did the same over there and uh, here since I did not have a, a, a something resting on the wall here and um, I used this thicker board and a little bit more screws and kept it together and believe it or not this is probably the most stir one of the most sturdy parts of this uh, um, scaffold and so now I can do stuff down here that's uh, speaking of which you see, since the water is running out under here, I have an issue with, uh, with humidity. So I'm just gonna air out a bit here. Old material. A lot of these parts have been um, fused together, so to speak. Like here, this is this is like a, a beam replacement. Like this shit is not gonna go anywhere. Here, it doesn't look very even because yeah, I didn't have like his recycled material, but. So wherever the, let's see if I can. I hope I'm filming correctly, but uh, so yeah, you see, there's a gap here, but this is thick enough for just this little distance, and then it's holding together with more screws. This one is <laughs> I didn't manage to make use of it, so I just screwed it in there since I happen to have a couple of screws on it. Took a <coughs> break. Uh, more screws there yeah so I see it's not the nicest scaffold but it's sturdy and uh, this is like thick strong material you would usually use for constructing a pier it's why it looks the way it does uh, yeah I'm very satisfied you know, if this is sort of like also an illustration of how does uh, how would a ceiling across here look um, but I'm gonna make of concrete. This is 
does the scaffold better. Yeah, I wanted to film it because um, it's, I thought it, I was satisfied. We have hit autumn. But it is a very lovely autumn we have for the time being. And now I also have a lot more space. You see, like, maybe not. But I don't have all the materials that I hear. They used to be over there, and now it's less messy. I also had a...